Welcome each to this reading. Thank you so much for being here. This is going to be looking at any area of your life at any time that you get this reading, knowing that you are always guided, knowing that even clicking onto this video, you are being guided here by your spirit guides, your spiritual team. Trust that energy. There is a message in this reading that you are meant to get at the time you clicked on. I have got a couple of decks that I'm going to be working with today. So I've chosen three different Oracle decks. I'm working with quite a lot of decks. So I pre-shuffled all of them. We've got Moonology coming in here. We've got Archangel, uh, the Archangel energy coming in here. And we've got spell casting. So I'm going to take out the oracle cards and then I'm going to take out, I'm just going to break the deck somewhere in the middle to get clarifiers out. So let's see what's coming in here for you. You've got adjustments are required. Third moon, third quarter moon, almost there. Okay. Um, you've got Archangel Raphael. See with enlightened eyes, open to abundance. Okay. And then the last card out is prosperity. Oh, you've got two aligning cards. This is a good reading, guys. This is a very good reading. So before we begin, let me just break these decks and just have a look and see what will the clarifiers be so we can go in a lot deeper for you. Okay, let's have a look and see what is this card. We have got, look at the bigger picture. Adjustments are required. Look at the bigger picture. And that is full moon in Sagittarius. So if you have Sagittarius in your placement, this is a very strong reading for you. Archangel Sandal Fawn, that is my, my personal, uh, well, not my personal, but that's one of the angels that I work with, Archangel Sandal Fawn's energy. Okay. Well, hello, hello. This is a very interesting reading. Whoever you are, the message here is quite deep. I'm so curious to see what will align with the prosperity energy. Guys, hello. This is a lot. Okay, so over here, you've got adjustments are required. Okay, third quarter moon. Third quarter moon would be an indication that you're almost at the full moon. Okay, you're getting yourself there. Um, the full moon would be a sign of you reaching a goal or completion of some kind, meaning that you work very, very hard. You're getting yourself sorted out. You're adjusting as you go along. It's almost like you are... I'm hearing spirit guys say like reprogram your reprogramming your behavior, hmm, reprogramming your mind, how you think, everything. Um, it's almost like you're reprogramming yourself in some kind of way so that you can reach that full moon energy. I think I'm just hearing spirit guide mentioning blockage as well. I don't see it anywhere here, but maybe in the tarot it may show up. They're mentioning that there has been for some of you out there a a very big blockage that you're really trying to work on breaking. This can be financial or success related or something to do with like this energy of stability in your life. Um, because you're, you're trying absolutely everything to adjust. I will be 100% honest with you. The adjustments are required energy. It is absolutely what you need to be doing. Because you cannot keep on doing the same thing every single day expecting different results. You have to change something in your everyday behavior or even in how you think or how you feel. Because the moment you do that kind of thing, when the shift always happens in you, the shift outside of you must follow. There is no other way. It is the law of the universe, okay? And you've got to look at the bigger picture. There's the full moon. Oh, I'm really noticing that. I told you, you're so close to completion here. You're getting really closer and closer to some kind of massive goal that you, you're, you're going to be reaching. The look at the bigger picture tells me actually that currently right now, you actually don't really know what that full moon looks like. Um, there's a lot that I think with that full moon energy being there that is going to be revealed to you in your life. And I'm also noticing the bone arrow um, on the moon, even though it's Sagittarius's energy, but I feel that means you're you're aiming at something. You need to hit your mark, and I think when the full moon actually reveals itself to you and it shows itself to you, there's going to be a lot more um, revealed to you than you currently know right now. There's a lot more about your future that you may not be aware of. So let's see what what let's look at this. We got Archangel Raphael coming in here. See with enlightened eyes. This is exactly what I was feeling. Literally, this is exactly what I was feeling. It's almost like when that full moon reveals itself to you, when you get to that moment in your life, 
there's going to be a lot that you're going to be surprised about, I feel. I feel like there's going to be a lot more revealed to you about your life and where you are going, how that's going to be looking. And it's not going to be a negative uh, situation revealed because it talks about enlightenment coming in here. And it says, yeah, oh, open to abundance. You see what I'm saying? This is definitely not a negative, to be honest with you, because you've got fertility and prosperity. How these cards, amazing that I broke these two cards like this. It's unbelievable to have this come up like this. This is, um, this is quite a lot of money. Um, that's a lot of abundance. I actually think, um, this could be more than what you're envisioning. I feel like you're adjusting and adjusting so much and you're going, I am trying to create ABC amount of uh, income in my life or, or, or amount of stability in my life. And you've got this vision that you're creating. But what is going on here? This is what I pick up. It's almost like you're saying to yourself, I want to make, I don't know how much is dollars, but I'm just going to say $5,000 or $10,000. I don't know how much it is. Sorry, I'm South African. So we got rands. I have to really sit and think about it. Um, Say you, you see your, your goal is to make $10,000 a month. Okay. And um, you're going, that's the amount that I want to earn monthly. And that's what you're adjusting to. That's where your bow and arrow is pointing. But with this, see with enlightened eyes, eyes and be open to abundance. It's like you're going, I want 200 or I don't know how much it is. Let's say 200,000 rand, okay, a month, or 100,000 rand a month, $5,000, $10,000, whatever it is to you. It's like the universe is going to be delivering 15. You see what I'm saying? you asking for this, but you're getting that. The next part to come out here, Archangel Sandalphon. This to me is one of the most oldest um, Archangels that I always pick up on. A lot of wisdom coming in from this Archangel. I often connect to this specific Archangel. Tune into your divine potential. I think, to be honest with you, this is going to be more than what you're, ex what you're expecting. Your potential and the energy of what you actually can create is not what you think. I think you're expecting ABC and you're getting XYZ. Okay, somewhere much further up on the scale. Um, bring the world into harmony. This is your world settling into where it's meant to be. This reading is amazing. The last card out speaks for itself. L leading on from the open, be open to this abundance. There is a lot of prosperity coming your way. Um, maybe I'm saying to you, you know, you're going to be earning, <laughs> you know, $15,000 a month. I, I don't know how much that is, as you know. Maybe it's going to be millions. Maybe you're going to be receiving millions and not even this amount. Because the fertility comes in here. Fertility, it can have to do with children. So it can be that some of you maybe are having a child or want to have a child. That energy does come in. If that is you, by the way, I don't, I'm not a medical doctor or anything. But because of the way the cards are aligning here, remember abundance can be so much different things. This doesn't just have to be even prosperity. It can be an abundance of experience, an abundance of family, an abundance of love, an abundance of adventure and growth, you understand. It can be so many different things. But with the fertility coming in, if you are expecting or wanting to have a child, I do feel like that would be a very, very positive card for you. Um, the fertility means that it's almost like whatever you touch grows. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Midas touch, here it comes, this kind of energy. It's like the Midas touch. Whatever you touch, it turns to gold. And it turns to this prosperity. And it turns to some, some kind of growth that's taking place in your life. So let's get some clarified cards out here. Now we're moving into the tarot. We're going to clarify the oracle cards. And then we're going to get clarifies onto the tarot. Okay, so let's go and get more information out for you. This is extremely positive. An extreme one of the best readings I've done, especially with regards to like um, stability in your life, um, growth that you're experiencing. Uh, the adjustments are required. I find this very, very interesting. I feel like that's you. I do feel like you're adjusting and you're doing everything in your like human spiritual power to change something about yourself. It's almost like you're either recognizing that your behavior needs changing. 
uh, I mean, you need to adjust to another reality or you're recognizing that there's something wrong with you on an energetic level and you, you're working on changing what that is, maybe using things like, you know, sound or um, sound frequency or even crystals or meditation or whatever that is <coughs> for you, even reprogramming your mind, which is okay. Okay, you can reprogram your, your mind. Go ahead and brainwash yourself. Um, it's going to help you to create the new, a new reality. Because once you think differently in your mind, especially with regards to what you believe about yourself or what you believe about your life, your future, even, you know, in general about life on earth. Once you can reprogram that energy as if you're saying to yourself, you know, we are programmed from birth. That's what you need to know. The moment we open our eyes, we are being programmed, uh, you know, not intentionally and also intentionally. Okay, the program has been handed down from generation to generation for a very long time. And it's this energy of lack. It's an energy of feeling powerless. And it does get handed down. Think about your childhood and the things that your parents used to say. That like, does money grow on trees? Where, where, did, where did we hear this from? Who came up with this? Specific, I used to hear from my parents a lot. Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Unless you have a farm and you're farming apples, okay? So literally, that was something that gets handed down to you when you're very, very little. And things like um, uh, the rich only keep getting richer. Money's evil. You see how it just gets into your subconscious mind from a very young age when you are so susceptible to these kinds of things from the people that you trust, your teachers, uh, the religious leaders. Money is evil, yet they all want that money. Okay, um, the rich are evil people. Um, and it does something to you. It affects your subconscious mind into actually creating a block to getting that money. Because in your heart, you're saying, I'm not an evil person. I'm a good person, but I want a million dollars, you know what I mean? And it's like you're going, I want that. At the same time, now your subconscious mind and your conscious mind are now in battle with each other because your subconscious mind has been programmed to believe that it's evil, that bad people, that the rich are really bad, you know? And so you, in some kind of way, are almost like blocking yourself from becoming a very wealthy person because you don't want to be a bad person. And that's the kind of things that you need to reprogram. Those core fundamental beliefs that you were, that were instilled from you when you were very, very young. Um, things that we hear that are just normal. I mean, think about even when we speak. We will go out there and we'll bump into a friend and, you know, somebody will ask us for money or something will happen. What's the first thing we say? Queen of Fire. What's the first thing we will say? Definitely not Queen of Fire energy, but, uh, which would be literally like uh, very confident, very uh, for, like uh, creative energy, focusing on building reality, focusing on living their best life. No, 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 no. It would be something like, no, I can't. I do it right now. I'm broke. How's everything? Ah, the money's so tight, hey? How many times have you said that? How's everything with you? Ah, oh, everything's good. I oh, just money. You know, it's so bad. Everything you believe will become your reality. And you're working on changing that core energy. And the first way you can actually start to do that is just to stop speaking it. Um, it's one of the hardest things because it will just kind of want to come out of you and you have to hold your mouth shut, you know what I mean? And it's like you have to develop a little speed bump between your brain and your mouth to kind of like stop the words from coming out. Even though you may be thinking it, but it's better not to voice it as well. Because speaking, you're casting a spell every time you speak. That's why they call it spells. You are spelling words or you are you're learning how to spell a word. It's because every time you speak, every time you write, you are casting a spell. Okay, think about if you have ever, ever had a diary and you wrote in your diary, what are the things that you wrote about in that diary? Sometimes, I know as a child, sometimes or even younger, I used to write like, I'm so worried about money. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm going to survive to the end of the month. You know, all these horrible things that we write down in the diary. Now, writing something down is even consecrating the words and giving it more power ever than before because it's ink onto paper in your own handwriting. You are creating magic in that energy. 
So you got to reprogram, and I feel like that is what you're doing. You got the emperor showing up in your reading, the two of air, and the empress. Let's get those clarifiers out for you. I want to understand more. The two of air for me, it kind of shows like you don't really know how to become the emperor and the empress in your life. But I feel like you're taking control of a situation by using your mind and by using your heart. And a lot of people, I think it's also like Dr. Joe Dispenza. If you watch Dr. Joe Dispenza, read any of his books, comment below, okay? Um, I really honor this person. He's done a lot of research. Sorry, guys, I'm losing my breath into creation of changing people's lives so uh, do comment below if you know what i'm talking about so we you know sometimes you have to look at this energy sometimes you have to literally get a balance going on between what's going on in your mind and what's going on in your heart it shows up here let me just move these cards it shows up here as the emperor and your empress energy it shows up here. Sorry, I dropped your card. It shows up as the Empress and the Emperor and the Empress energy. Okay. So with this coming in, the Emperor, we are talking about mind, this masculine energy. So the masculine energy is all about thought. It's about actions that you take. It's about being in control of your own life. So you are looking at the mind and what you are thinking in your mind. In the Empress here, it's all about the heart. The mind and heart connection and you are working on that the empress energy is feminine it's dealing with your emotion it's dealing with what you cannot see it's like a high priestess energy as well it's dealing with um how you feel your intuition the energy that vibrates around you so you see how you're working on creating this balance because why we have got let me not turn these cards over because they're so important uh, the way they fell so with this energy you're working on creating a reality. How interesting is this? It's like she's got, she's pouring some water into, into the, the pond or the lake over there. And this part is pouring water onto the, onto the stones, you know, like it's not really going to go anywhere. And there's that star. You are definitely working on trying to create something here. You are definitely got that bow and arrow aiming at the star. And it's interesting because it almost seems like the practical side of things would be the water pouring into the, into the ocean or the pond or the lake. Because it's like now you're not wasting that water. It's practical things that you can see and do. And then the spiritual side of things here, the unknown, the energy of feeling. It's almost like that part is not so important because it's been poured onto the rocks. But actually they're both important. Because even though we may not feel good about going to work, we may not like our jobs. But so what? As long as I go to work and do what I need to, need to be doing. But actually these two things need to be in harmony. Bring your world into harmony. I thought I remember saying that somewhere. Yes, needs to be in harmony. Bring your world into harmony. Because if you're doing something that you absolutely hate, then the Empress is not in the right place. It is not in the right place. For some of you guys, this could be what is as well. It could be exactly what is causing a blockage to have that abundance coming in. You've got to get this Empress in this position. Loving what you do. Enjoying the energy of taking control of your life. If you can do this, let me tell you, you're going to get it right. I can see you have been working on this a very long time. The hangman comes up as well as the six of wands in the reverse position. Okay, so the hangman with the two of swords showing up in the reverse position as well. I don't know like how much you have been pushed to be honest with you, to, to get this right. And how many times you've had like doors slamming in your face here. To be honest with you, it's like you just don't know how to proceed. But the main thing with the Two of Swords energy, and this comes up with both of these cards here, is the fact that um, see with the enlightened eyes also aligns with the hangman. The main thing is that you're actually looking within to find the answer. So you're working a lot on this energy. A lot on this energy. Maybe you have done a lot of practical things, daily things, what action I need to be taking, and every time you do it, it's not working. So now you're kind of like moving more into this energy to write this up for yourself. And that does involve looking within. In the Two of Swords, she's blindfolded. 
in the hangman, you're hanging upside down, sometimes blindfolded as well, depends on the tarot deck, and literally a very uncomfortable energy, but you're hanging on, you're pushing, you're carrying on any, anywhere, and you're looking within because of the blindfold, so you can't look without, you've got to go within. And the hangman will say, just hold on, because you're about to be enlightened. You're about to be enlightened. You're going to see with enlightened eyes. And the way you see with enlightened eyes is not to look with the two eyes that you've got, but with the eye that is invisible, that doesn't see with vision. It sees with feeling. It sees with intuition. And that only that you can look with, but you can get it right by looking within. And you are getting this right. Hold on here. It comes up again in this energy, showing up here, finally, because you're adjusting inner energy and not just the mental energy, the mental energy will adjust the emotional energy, by the way, because the moment you start thinking differently about your life, about who you are, about what your belief is about yourself, you will begin to feel different about you about your life, your experience, and about the future. You will begin to feel so much more emotionally in the right place. When that takes place, you're going to get there. It's in the reverse position. It shows that it's been a very long journey. It shows that you, you're pushed and held on and went forward, even when you didn't know how to go forward. And you are going to get your life into that place where you want to be. There's the cat with a little mouse in his, hair, in, his, hair, in, his in his mouth. And... Today, my cat, there's a mouse, okay, around my property in the garden somewhere. My cats keep catching it repeatedly and bringing it into the house and letting it go. It, it's Maybe it's four times now. They don't do anything. I don't know what to do, guys, really. Comment below. They don't do anything to it. They just kind of look at it and put it down in the house and it looks at everyone and runs away. Currently, right now, I think it's somewhere there. It leaves every time. It leaves the house. It does, obviously, I've got three cats. It's not going to stay in the house. So it, it goes out. It, it goes out every time. It's got a specific like pattern on its body. So I know exactly it's the same one. <laughs> and they brought it in yesterday again. So this just reminds me of this. Um, it's like a sign for you guys, I'm telling you. It's like they, they keep on playing with the same mouse. I don't know if it's their friend or what. I, I just don't know. Anyway, as long as it's not bothering me, let's just keep going out. With this energy, I feel like you're going to get your prize here. You're going to get the life you're looking for. You're going to get the job you're looking for. You're going to get your business going the way you want. You're going to be living that. You're going to have that success, that abundance, exactly the way you want. You are definitely overtaking almost like everybody here that you're currently surrounding yourself with. It's like your life is just going to boost up and everybody's going to be like, what happened to you? you know, which is what you've been waiting for for so long. So let's get some more cards out here. Bringing the world into harmony. That is the emperor and the empress. You've got to look at the emotion now. More adjustments are needed. Open to abundance. There is a messenger of earth, a knight of pentacles coming in here. Six of air. And another messenger of water. A lot of action happening here. There is a lot of action with this cards coming in. The messenger of earth is knight of pentacles. That money, that abundance is coming. It is not fast moving energy. This is what you need to know. This energy for you is very, very slow moving. So you are going to have to make sure you're very patient. I do see you are. I do see you are. There's no way you can have that one come up in the reverse position. Because if it's something that you've been working on for very, very long, it's very slow. You will never get this card. You will never get this card. It won't even show up. In the reverse position, it shows the amount of patience that you've got, okay? It's coming. Spirit is already moving you. You're halfway there. That is the third quarter moon energy. The six of swords or six of air energy is spirit moving you to this new reality. So the six of air or six of swords energy, it's always some kind of spiritual guide guiding you forward, showing you the way to get here. And you are using that Empress energy to literally, ah, you're using the Empress energy. The Empress energy, I told you, is going to do with emotion. And then we've got this beautiful Knight of Cups that comes in here, which is the messenger of water. This is you getting the message. Follow your heart. Follow your intuition. Follow how you feel. Pay attention. Is it good? Is it not good? This, to me, also is a representation of some kind of passion. That you are following some kind of dream it reminds me of this 
He reminds me of that. It's like a dream. And we got Aquarius in your reading as well. We also got Aries in your reading. What else do we have? Aquarius and Aries so far with Sagittarius. I feel like this is literally you aiming at something here, following your heart and soul. Let's get those clarifiers out for you. This is a very abundant reading. If like if if you're here and you get this reading, this is your reading. Um there's not a lot of people that are gonna watch it. I mean, we've got millions of people on YouTube. We've got over two um, I don't know if it's 2 million people watching YouTube a, a month, uh, actively watching every month, and there's 2 million next people that are watching, and you maybe 10,000 people watch this video out of the millions that could watch it. If you are here, this is your reading. Keep going. You are so close. Yes, you must keep going. You are doing just absolutely fine. Got a death card. Keep going. You are so close. A big change is about to take place. You've got Scorpio now in your reading as well. Also remember, these signs can be your rising. They can be your moon as well. So with this energy, also a sun sign, um, because it's coming in very slowly and it has been coming slow for you, the finances, this is the moment here. That's the moment that everything changes. And it's interesting that it falls upon see with enlightened eyes. Be open to abundance under this energy. Tune into your divine potential because this is when it happens. This is when everything that you've been doing, all the hard work you've been putting in, that's when the change comes in. And you are doing just fine. With this, you've got a beautiful clarifier coming in here. Seven of Wands, this is what you have been doing. You have been pushing, you have been trying, you've been making it happen. You've been dealing with everything that you need to deal with, maybe bills that need to go out, responsibilities that you have, and you're still working on your dream. You're still working on your dream and you're doing it. You're facing it head on here. It's like you've got this energy of like, I am going to do this. I'm going to handle what I need to handle. I'm going to push where I need to push. One of the things I just want to mention to you, because I'm picking it up in this energy, when things go wrong, you get like five of wands, five of cups, uh, five of swords energy, even five of pentacles. Like when those, all those fives in the tarot, um, it's normal. Please let's normalize these energies. When you are working on a goal, that star card, you got that, look at the bigger picture, that bow and arrow energy. Getting your life here to this energy of prosperity. It is not like you're sitting back and just sailing up the river, you know what I mean? Or letting the river just pull you down um, where you're meant to go. It can be that way. But it's also going to be hit with a waterfall, rapids. Um, then you've got a hole in the bottom of your boat, you know what I mean? It's on the road to get there. There will be problems. There is going, there's going to be a crocodile in the river waiting for you, you know what I mean? And you're going to have to handle that. You're going to have to do what you need to do. But stop moving where the boat is taking you. No, you don't. You go with the current. But the current is not without difficulties. And sometimes people, they the first difficulty they face, they're like, okay, let me overcome this, boom. Then the second dif difficulty that comes along like this, they kind of go, this is not good. And the third difficulty comes, they go, oh, this is not meant for me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, let me just quit what I'm doing. And this is the weirdest thing. You know, when you start getting one difficulty after another showing up on the road, on the path, on that river, on that current to your success, you must know it's even more that is your reality. Because the more kind of like difficulties you are facing, that's a major sign that that's going to become real. Because these difficulties, so as she is fighting them, as they come in, she must now defend herself and take care of what she needs to take care of. What is she doing? She's honing her skill. She's becoming more agile. She's becoming more quicker. She's becoming more fitter, more stronger. And that's why the difficulties come. They are preparing you for this reality. And when you see it coming in, you must know, I'm going to fix this one. I'm going to fix this problem because I know every time I do, my whole energy body is shifting and changing so that I can change also inside to become the person who lives in prosperity. This is the reason why people will win the lottery. And in three years time, this is a proven fact, three years time they are broke. It's, it's because they never did this. They just got the money and they don't know how to do this. But you're going through it, you're learning how to face these difficulties, who you have to become 
to make this money. And when you go through that, you're not going to lose it because you know what it took. It's like, you know, children, when they, um, when you buy them things, they're not, they're kind of careless with what you give them. I know I've got kids, like you'll buy them a cell phone or you'll buy them, like my daughter, I bought her brand new school jerseys. So she's already lost the one already. And I was like, Oh, but if you bought that school jersey, you wouldn't have lost it. You see what I'm saying? You are going to be able to buy your own things and you're going to understand how hard it was to get that and you are never going to lose it. With this energy, look at this. Look at it. This is the most one of the most positive cards in the tarot. Three of Wands. Look at your ship coming in. I think this is the one that shows it. Yes, there it is. Look at your ship coming in. There she's waiting. There she's waiting for her ship to come in. There's all her plans she laid out, waiting for this energy to come in because you followed your heart. You followed your intuition. And that is your life changing. It's your life absolutely changing. There it comes. There comes your abundance. There comes this energy. There's new life coming in here. With this coming up, you're looking at your prosperity. There's the money, the fertility. This is going to keep growing. With the fertility, it's not something that's going to like stop. It's going to keep growing, okay? The moon, the four of fire, and the nine of fire in the reverse position. The moon card. What did we start off with with the beginning of the reading? Okay, Pisces is in your reading. Halfway to the moon, there's the full moon, and there it has arrived in your life. So much more is going to be revealed to you because that's what the moon is all about. The moon is about cycles that are to come, the next cycles of time. It's all about what you cannot see, what is currently hidden from you. Look at the big picture. This is when you get the big picture and you see it. Look how gold is. Gold is a color of abundance, by the way. It's color of money. Okay, with this energy... <clears throat> burn a gold candle around your house okay and when you wake up in the morning just don't leave it burning but you can literally burn a golden candle and focus on that candle just look at it for a little while and focus on what is you need to be doing how you need to be feeling and what you need to be thinking put it all in order find that balance that harmony and then just snuff out the candle okay don't ever blow it out just Snuff it out or if you suffer, just snuff it out. If you blow out a candle, if you've been meditating or focusing on something or even doing something like a magical spell and you have a candle burning and you're doing something with it and you blow it out, you are cancelling the work that you've done. So you snuff it out, okay? A little bit of witchy information for you. So with the moon coming in here, this is when you see your truth. This is when you get the big picture. Your life your life, I love how this has come up, it's actually in the reverse, your life, you've got the four of fire coming in here, that is the beginning of a new life for you, that is the beginning of a new life for you, look at it, this is you, you're not the same person yet either, you got, this is something that you're so proud of, this is something that it begins here, with the three of wands, and it moves again, this is when you see the change, you, you start experiencing, that's when you're living it, that's you, this is you in a new home, uh, a large amount of money coming in, new reality, a lot of your problems are solved, especially financial problems that you have dealing with things around you, you're just ticking things off the box, ticking the, the list like, okay, I need to fix that, I need to fix this, I need to fix this, that's you actually doing this. And that is the list that you're ticking off here in the reverse position. The nine of wands is all your worries and the dreams that you have. Look at the star card showing up. Whenever I see this nine of wands, I always see like the stars hanging there. It reminds me of lost dreams and hopes. You know, that she's like going to drop those stars on the ground there and just go like all my dreams and hopes that I've ever had, I'm just going to drop them down and I won't be able to accomplish this. This is the Wounded Warrior card showing that you've been through a lot. With it in the reverse position, you are not going to drop them. You are going to now start to create every one of the little dreams that you had. And you know, dreams for us can be funny little things. It can be like me now. My dream at this moment is to install a solar geezer. So, um, yeah, I don't want to use my normal geezer. I'm really, my country has electrical problems. Um, so we have load shedding in my country. So 
uh, we have like a couple of hours every day of no electricity. Welcome to South Africa. It gets better and it gets worse. But this whole journey, you know, um, into kind of like moving into like another way of trying to create electric electricity, it's taught me personally quite a lot. And it's made me actually say, you know what, I need to find another way of getting electricity going so i'm trying to move over to like total solar panels and um gas we don't cook with gas in our country so we cook with electricity can you imagine how expensive that is so i'm moving to a gas stove um i'm moving to solar geyser to try to also save that electricity for myself but it's also for our world it's for our planet we need to bring down the carbon emissions. And I think it's a wake-up call, and it should be a wake-up call for a lot of people in my country that we are literally doing this already. Maybe it's not bad what's going on. Maybe it's happening for a specific reason. Maybe it's happening to show us we need to find another way. And that's that kind of energy with that star card, thinking that something is really bad that's happening, and in fact, it's actually not the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands, yeah, sorry, is literally you, like, handling one little dream after another. And funny little things like a solar geyser or putting gas in your house, a gas stove, it's like little accomplishments that you want to get you, that this massive change in your finances is going to make possible for you, okay? The reality, you know, like the real thing of what's happening in our lives. So let's have a look and see. you got your King of Wands here. You got your page of wands and you have a seven of swords. Look at this. I've got to start to the seven of swords. That is all the things that have been going wrong. You got your reverse um, nine of swords. This is sometimes known as the sneaky card. And this is the wounded warrior. So the sneaky card for me here, it kind of shows me it's what caused you to get into the nine of wands. It's all the things that people did to you. It's situations that you find yourself in that are not good for you. It's events taking place in your life where you lose money, where you lose your job, where you don't come right, where you, you can't fix this car, where you can't um, pay the bill properly, where events are taking place here that's just not okay for you. And I feel like, yeah, you are. You're, you're going to put down all of those those lost dreams here that you thought you wouldn't be able to accomplish because of this. And you are literally going to have this new energy because you've got wands coming up here. Okay, so with your moon card, you've got your beautiful energy with a four of fire. Oh, you've also got a four of fire here. This is all working together. With your moon card, you've got a beautiful king of wands. The king of wands is a very excited energy. It's tied to like creativity. It's tied to even things like art and music and expression and you know inspiration motivation all of those energies come with wands energy very outgoing energy i feel like you are reaching a goal in your life with this king of wands that it's about how you want to create your reality i know what i want to create i know in my future like i'm like okay this is what i would like to see this is where i'd like to be that kind of energy so we all get this energy of this is what i would like to create with the King of Wands coming in here, this is your reality being revealed to you bit by bit as this moon card moves through its cycles. And I feel excitement coming in here for you as you start to focus on what it is you're trying to build. You know, it's beyond the money. The money is not there for um, just to be a powerful person. I want to be the emperor of the world. You know what I mean? It's about the ability to be able to create your reality. It's about the ability to be able to make dreams come through, whatever it is that for you, like climbing that mountain, um, going to see that ocean, you know, touching a dolphin, I don't know, whatever that is to you, um, you know, building a, a sanctuary for animals, to take care of animals who have got no home, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what it is for you, whatever that is for you, and that's that excitement coming in. With the four of, this is so interesting, with the four of fire, you have the page of wands, a new beginning. This is a new beginning. That's the 1111 card. That's the card that talks to you about this new shift and change coming in. And the page of wands is a new you. It is a new you. It's a new person that you become here. This is a beginning for you with that death card coming in here, all of this energy where you are recreating not only your reality, but you yourself have been recreated. You have completely reprogrammed yourself. To get yourself into this new reality. I love this reading. If you're a gear, 
congratulations because I know you're meant to be here. If you're at the end of the reading, if you're here at the end of the reading, oh my God, comment below because we're here for 40 minutes now, around about 40 minutes. Um, so if you're here at the end of this reading, I'm going to do something for you. Okay. I'm going to thank the universe for this abundance for you. For whomever is watching this video at the end here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For your wealth, your health, and your happiness. I will see you guys next time. Bye.